Set of work. I hope you guys caught Danny this morning as the DJ. We want to thank him for doing that for us. That was a, a, a real nice addition. Um, so now that we're on the cloud side, let's, let's switch into gaming because real interesting area. And we saw a little bit this morning on some of the Xbox games uh, and using the cloud on the back end for assistance. Uh, what I want to do now is switch gears and, and talk a little bit about, in this case, sort of PC gaming and the notion of using cloud assistance for uh, desktop PC gaming, whatever term you want to use. Yeah, so I've got a pretty interesting thing here. Um, this is a new prototype we're working on. This is coming out of the labs. This is running on a high-end machine. And notice like what I'm about to start doing here. I am going to start blowing this building apart. Now, the cool thing about this is this is not scripted. This is full-on deformation of this building. Now, things are pretty cool here, but I've actually rigged this building to blow. And um, what I mean by that is we're going to just start destroying the whole building. And so, whoops, don't move the mouse, John. You'll notice that the building is starting to come down. And Watch that frame rate. The frame rate is dropping. We are doing an incredible number of calculations on the physics, the geometries, the rotation of all these objects as it's going down. And you'll see that this really overwhelms this machine. Now, Steve's got the same app running over here. Yep. Um, but we're doing something a little bit different. We're using the cloud and a collection of devices to do cloud computation. And why don't you start I'm blowing start, this building I'm apart? I'm going to start shooting this building up. And here, like. These are high-end main gear gaming rigs. These yeah. aren't small machines, and so they're high-end. But when you get to this level... All right, let's detonate the building. All right, let's I'll start see. the detonation. And notice, this thing is running much, much faster for Steve already. And even when, after he detonates the building, notice the building's starting to come apart. He can now wander around. Like, let's go run around various other parts. Like, yep. there's some great stuff oh, in I this like environment. This yeah, this thing's really cool. Yeah. Shoot this thing down. Um, so... But think about this. Be Imagine fair, I like trying to, shoot to do anything, this. moving or not, but that's yeah. a separate conversation. Everything in this enti entire environment can be blown apart. And what we're really seeing is the power of the cloud to enable new kinds of experiences that have never been possible. Even if we had multiple high-end machines and these things we're talking, they couldn't do the kind of those rotations, the positional information, down to the clients where the rendering's getting done. Yep. I think it's a really great example of the power of the cloud. No, a real nice compliment. And this is a good connection into PC gaming overall. We're continuing to... <laughs> that thing is dead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Two frames per second. How awesome. to kill a big machine. We're continuing to work on... Um,